Hello everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Look, I'm not gonna be long. Uh, running some quick errands. I gotta get back to the office. I have a uh, session in about 40 minutes or so, but I uh, want to touch on something. Uh, uh, I saw a quote that people were commenting on and it just illuminated just how misdirected, misguided, and lost we are right now. And I want to talk about it. It was a quote by Minister Louis Farrakhan. Now, let me be very clear in before I get started, this is not a discussion, a debate, a validation, or any other thing concerning the messenger. Uh, this isn't what this is about. I want to focus on the message. And the message, or the quote was, that a man is not complete until the right woman completes him. And there were quite a few comments. There were a lot of things going on. And, and so eventually I was invited in. And uh, my response was simple. But in order to understand where that's coming from, you have to have an understanding of universal law and divine nature. A lot of times we are attempting to operate through social constructs given through us through culture, through what we believe to be cultural evolution and uh, the development of new insights. And we figure we know better than history and we know better than nature, we know better than God. And so we decide we're gonna redefine the rules. Uh, we are trying to neutralize roles as if there isn't a divine order. And I, I saw a post that sort of pointed this out that simply says, let's stop pretending that there aren't natural or divine roles. Uh, and the analogy that was made is no man is gonna have the burglar alarm go off his house and send his wife down to see what's going on. That's a natural order. That's a reason why. That's a reason why men are bigger, generally bigger and physically stronger than women. There are natural roles that we fill. Uh, there's a reason why the black, I mean, there's a reason why the male brain uh, works from front to back and the female brain works uh, left to right. They function differently, they process differently, they move differently. And between the two, they cover a vast, space of possibilities, options, situations. Uh, so physiologically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually, we're different. Therefore, under an understanding of how spiritual synthetics works, or spiritual uh, sinking words, then we understand, okay, there's a reason why we do need each other. We are necessary. But the idea of a man saying that he isn't complete unless the right woman completes him sends in the question, well, am I not complete without a woman? And see, we get confused in this because semantics comes into play without clarification. There's a difference in being whole and a difference in being complete. When I say I'm whole, that means by myself, I am 100% a man. I don't need anybody to validate it. I don't need anybody to confirm it. I don't need anybody to solidify it. I am a man. But when we talk about completion, we're talking about the fulfillment of something. We're talking about, have I reached the apex of my existence? Completion. Have I become everything that I can possibly be in this world? Completion. Now see, I am a firm believer that there are just certain things that the right woman adds that I just in my own nature as a male won't even engage. There are some things that having the right woman in my life will activate. 
Hell, there's some things that having a woman that's not the right woman in my life will activate if I have a desire to be a good man. But when the right woman come along, comes along, not only is that thing in me activated, but there are things within that activation she touches. She brings her spiritual womb along. I don't have one. She brings her spiritual womb along. And in that spiritual womb, she takes and she incubates the very vision that I've been carrying in my mind, my heart, and my spirit. But we've been told we don't need each other. We have received a constant dose of, I don't need a man, I don't need a woman. I'm, 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 I'm a self-made and, and all of this other stuff. And we're losing the very sight of divine nature. The thing that says, we are for each other. We are better together than we can ever be apart. Let me tell you something. It doesn't mean that a man can't do some exceptional things without a woman. It doesn't mean that a woman can't be phenomenal without a man. All it means is there are some places and some things that a woman is capable of being and going that she will only get to when the man steps in and provides the proper covering. There are some places that a man is capable of going and doing that are beyond exceptional, beyond extraordinary, beyond phenomenal. He'll never get there until he moves through the womb, the spiritual womb of a woman, until he moves through the healing speech of a woman, through he, through, through, and, and he moves through the activation of a, 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 of a spiritual uh, being and spiritual force inside of himself that awakens and says there's more. She can only do that. He can be phenomenal. And the thing is, I don't care where you at in life, man. I don't care how much money you have in your bank account. I don't care how many companies you run. I don't care how successful your resume is. Let me tell you something. There's an apex that you haven't reached if you don't have the white, right woman in your life. Stop buying into this cultural nuance that you can do it by yourself. Stop buying into it. We weren't built to do it by ourselves. Can we? If we have to, absolutely. But we will never be the best we can be alone. Period. There are just certain things I'm not built to do at the height that it's meant to be done. Can I be intuitive? Can I be spiritual? Absolutely, I'm a spiritual being. I can't, but she's built for it. She's made for it. When she comes in right, she comes in with insight that I miss because I am built on accomplishment, moving my hands, my accomplishments, all those things. So there are things she's just simply gonna see better than I see. There, there are obstacles I won't see, she will. There are pitfalls I, I won't see, she will. There are times that I'm going to hit a wall. And the wall is going to seem immovable to me. And no matter how uh, fixed I am on finishing, I'm going to need somebody to whisper, you got it. She's going to do that. And she's not going to just do it for the sake of doing it. She's going to do it because she believes it at the deepest core, deepest part of her being. There's something inside of her that's connected to something inside of me that has made us one. And as one, we are better in, uh, with my with my masculine energy, with her physical, with her uh, feminine energy. We have now synced and we are pushing a synergy that brings both masculine and feminine together in a way that it cannot be emulated or duplicated and there ain't nothing nobody can sit up with any social construct to overcome that black men black women we got to get it together that's something that i have talked about i have written about i have lectured on and i'll continue to push the love of the black man for the black woman the love of the black woman for the black man the rebuilding and the restoration of the nuclear black family it's so important we are being destroyed because we are allowing ourselves to be separated divided and pitted against one another homes are being destroyed and children are being left uncovered because we are seeking what we believe to be best for us if you ain't serving something bigger than yourself you're already out of the game. You, ought, you gotta have something in your life that's bigger than you. You gotta have something in your life that challenges you to sacrifice. You gotta have something in your life that challenges you to put yourself aside and see a bigger picture. If you don't, you will never become what you're truly designed to be. You will always be someone chasing something. So I agree with the minister. As remarkable as I have been in my life without the right woman, I will never reach my full potential. 
it doesn't mean that I haven't done some remarkable things I have I've lived a life that most people won't not that they can't they won't but I haven't touched the surface of what I'm capable of but I'm on my way so I just had to really and truly touch on that at a level that you understand um, I don't care how much I know that's something I can learn I don't care how well rounded I am there are some areas that I need sharing up on there has to be something I trust outside of myself for me to be fully activated and flowing in my potential I stunt my momentum by thinking I can do it by myself I lose myself in the illusion of this self-made, or let's call it self-madeism that's going around now. Ain't nothing like having the right person speak the right thing at the right time. Ain't nothing like having the right person touch you in the right place at the right time. And I'm not talking sexually. There's a place you can be touched. There's a time, time you can be touched. There's a way you can be touched that tells your spirit, you got it. That tells your spirit, it's okay. That tells your spirit, you, you're strong enough. You're built for it. You need that. This all, I mean, we we, we so wired up that if, after a while, they're not going to have to worry about us because we're going to just stop even procreating because we ain't going to deal with each other because we're going to buy into this bull crap that we don't need each other. Let me tell you something, ladies. And I'm going to end it here. I read, and Lord knows I believe this, I read a statement that said, when a man chooses love over respect, he loses both. What is it saying? It's saying that there's nothing more powerful and potent and necessary for a man beyond respect. Matter of fact, the way you love a man is through respect. If you can't respect him, you can't love him. You can say you love him. You can have emotional feelings, but love is, is an execution of behavior. Love is a benevolent act of doing things, and you can't love him if you don't respect him, because the moment you don't respect him, you start to break him. You start to crack him. You start to, if especially if he actually loves you, so let me tell you something once again. You've got to understand this thing. A man needs to be respected and needed more than he needs emotional security. He doesn't need you to tell him he love, you love him. He needs you to respect him. And on that note, I'm gonna get me a breakfast sandwich and get back to the office. But I had to share that with you. On that note, think about it also support the work we're doing at the odyssey project one of which is teaching young black males how to move in their manhood um, and helping young black females come out of situations uh, that may have mislabeled them mishandled them mistreated them and to recover and to heal uh, to create uh, avenues within the community to close the wealth gap all of these things i'm challenging you to help us the, the information is in the description box. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable.